Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day, and today is Sunday the 13th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Had some rain off and on and stuff, a little bit chilly, but not too bad. Um, overall, just a phenomenal day. Um, went ahead and got this morning, um, hopped in the tub, not that long, um, ended up having myself a bowl of chili for breakfast, which is really not a normal thing to do, but the chili I made last night was just phenomenal like it's probably the I'm it is the best chili I've ever made in my life and maybe the best tasting chili I've ever had in my life I've had some more weird exotic ones with like rattlesnake or some dumb crap that had a little bit wider flavor profile but this one blended together so perfectly like everything in it was just enough spice with just enough sriracha just enough chili powder just it was like just absolutely perfect like it was just like literally the best chili I've ever had in my life. So it is what it is. But yeah, I'll never be able to recreate it because I never write nothing down. I just dump stuff in. I don't keep track of things and that's what sucks. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, super happy with it. So I had breakfast chili. Who the hell is going to have breakfast with chili? But it was what I felt like I wanted. So knock that thing out there. Um, why not? Got done there. Um, went ahead. Um, got um, Karen got around. We decided we was going to do some open house stuff. Um, convinced I asked her I said have you taken a car truck bike whatever or not, not so she agreed to take the bike she wasn't really super happy about it we took off and it was a little on the chilly side <clears throat> to the point we didn't get very far away I had to pull over let her off the bike grab her jacket out of the back because she didn't put it on so she went ahead and grabbed out of the trunk the bike um, threw the jacket on and then she was much better off the rest of the day uh, we rode around hit a bunch of open houses she had on the list all of them were out of our price range um, some buy a lot some buy a little Actually, I back. There was one that was still within our price range, which ironically, when she described it where it was, out towards like a running trail I love. Um, great road. I'm like, dude, I'm all in this place. Like, I think whatever it is, I don't know the price. I don't know the price, but this is going to be my favorite one. No matter what, this is going to be if they're on our way there. I was kind of laughing and joking about that. Because anything else, even the prices they were asking these houses that were like, you know, three times the price of our house, um, I still wouldn't have traded for. Like, there was one of them that was like, there was one house beachside that was five fifty for this crappy ass little house and it was a just a junk ass nineteen twenties house. They didn't redo the flooring, the floors they did redo. There was like a, a enclosed porch they turned into part of the living room and then the floors uneven as shit. They put in these junk ass floors in it. And they would have been better off I, I know it sounds stupid, but they would have been way better off leaving that house completely untouched. Like I got it down to the studs and then did such a lousy job putting them back together. Like sold the lot and just bulldoze it and build new there because you have a tiny ass two bedroom with like a the washer and dryer room with a giant old ass hot water heater that won't even fit She's like oh I put a stackable in there since I listed where there's no way a stackable fits in that exposed old 20s floors all cracks and stuff and the floors not even it's just and the house wasn't done it had uh, new um, hurricane windows on like the um, north facing which is not the side that gets the most damage from wind east and west and south all still single pane junk ass crap carport there one thing it did have going for it was it had a nice lot to the um, south that had enough room you could build a big ass shop you could build a um a garage you could build an in-law suite up top apartment whatever type thing you could put a giant pool in if you had the money but if you're if you're dropping 550 in the house no way in hell you're buying this thing like this thing literally i would not even with location if i was told i could not bulldoze it and build over you know in that location i had to live there for even a i'm gonna say yeah one year if I had to live there more than a year, like I would live there for 12 months if I got to cash the check for 550 when it was done or build a McMansion on it once I, that year's up because my house is paid for. I think it's paid for to save the money up and build a McMansion there. I would definitely take it. But other than that, no, I, I wouldn't trade you straight across for a house that's 550 in our house. 185 it's probably we might get a little more we've been watching houses the market's still going up here but let's just be honest one you know 185 and this is 550 they're out of damn mind um one of our friends and stuff one of karen's ex-co-workers um basically she had a house she has a house in new smyrna that they built brand new construction they were asking a little over a million for it and they've dropped the price down because they've changed some laws you can't do um, weekly rentals and stuff with the client doing it and it sold for like, like 850 i believe is what they finally sold for and this is a three-story um, amazing house with an elevator, just like a giant. There's two full kitchens. It's a, I mean, this thing is a stunning house for 300 grand more than this dump of a piece of crap that I wouldn't trade my house for. And I would literally give up my house five times over for Deb's house. So that house, except for the fact there's no yard at Deb's place, which you don't expect to get um, beachside. Just, you can't afford that kind of money. But it's literally, it's a block off um, Flagler. It's like a perfect walking distance, perfect for rentals, for that kind of thing, for parties, for weddings and stuff. But they changed the law, so it kind of screwed up a bunch of people's plans, mostly hers. But um, yeah, that was fun. So we went around, ran around a bunch of their houses, got to the one out there by Turnbull, out by um, Door Sleeper that I was like so excited about. 
and that house was nice. It was good. I liked it. It could have worked. Um, had a dumb HOA, which I've always said I'll never join an HOA. I don't care how lax the HOA is. Unless there's something the bylaws that says the HOA will never gain more power. Like, we will never enforce other rules. We will never change the rules and stuff, blah, blah, whatever. Or if it's an opt-in only deal. Because, like, one of the big things, there's no, you can't have a fence, which was, I didn't understand. Because there was fences in that neighborhood. Just not, I don't know if it's at that side of the street or something. I have no idea what it was. But couldn't have a fence, which means, how do I, how do I have dogs? Like, I'm not going to have my dog on a leash this whole damn life. Like, that's stupid. So... Thing it worked, but the house was nice. It was well done. It was a little bit kind of weird. The yard's non-existent in a little golf course community, which where it was, and a two hundred dollar year HOA. But here's the thing: no parking on the street at all. Like no car can sit on the street overnight for no reason, not nothing. So if your car breaks down, or if you have something in the garage, you know, garage something something going on, nope, and no commercial vehicles outside of um, your garage at all. So if I ever wanted to start like a landscaping company or a lawn mowing company, or had a friend of mine who came down from landscaping, you know, company, or had a construction company wanted to spend the night and hang out at my house with us, they cannot be there. Like, you cannot have an, a commercial vehicle sitting on the street. And most commercial vehicles are too tall to fit in a regular garage. So guess what? They can't go in the garage. So I don't know if I throw it in the driveway and throw a tarp over it, like an actual car cover, if that would cover it up for the night or two, whatever. I don't know. But it's absolutely ridiculousness. So I've always said I'll never take an HOA house because I just never trust them not to just continue getting more and more dumb rules and to the point that just becomes like you can only drive you know Priuses or something or some dumb crap really want to make that I just don't want to live with that I'm never going to that power so never going to be in an HOA I just know huh so that house is out unfortunately did not when I made my predicament earlier but every other house we looked at when I went to uh, they had like it's a gated community like there was like no guard there they're like you know give us your um, driver's license stuff it's like like you had to punch the code back in to get your driver's license back in the house I'm like oh, the hell with that crap so we're like I'm not giving up my driver's license just to go look at an open house I was like really dumb so that was kind of a strange one um, went to one open house uh, beachside got there Nope. It was from it was like basically a four hour open house from like eleven to three. We show up at uh, like twelve. Uh, I think it was twelve fifty or something like that. Nope. Nowhere in sight. Signs were inside the window. Into the garage. Just never showed up for the open house. And I'm like, are you shitting me? Like we drove over here. And that one there actually was a possibility. Except I don't think I want to live beside. Traffic on weekends over here at New Smyrna is just insanely stupid. And I don't think I wanted to live with that. If you know. Uh, daily basis I just and insurance for hurricane insurance is way higher and stuff so but that was a possible house when we looked at it outside like damn actually this could possibly work like and the money was not that far out of our budget that was the closest to our budget but we just killed the day um, running around hitting open houses just for lack of um, nothing better to do really it's a really easy way to social distance ourselves so we drove around the bike had a great time um, basically just yeah, it was it was fun. It was one of those things we enjoy it. We didn't have any we no expectation today. We're not like looking at these houses like, oh, we're gonna buy this. We've kind of decided we're just you know, unless the absolute perfect dream home pops up, well, I'm I'm off the market. Like I just don't care. It just sucks. So it is what it is there. But got back here to the house, hung around a little bit. Um, we're trying to decide if we're gonna have like a early dinner, late lunch. How we're gonna do it? What we're gonna do? Blah blah. So she decided she wanted to have a snack. So she had a snack. We we're gonna have a regular normal you know time dinner. Well then by the time dinner time came around I had to wait till at least you know five o'clock I was starting to get hungry like I was starting to get real hungry because I skipped lunch and it was one of those things I'm like oh this is really not good for me like I'm kind of getting a little grumpy here so I finally went uh decided it's time to have dinner so we knocked out that chili again um got it all heated up got it all prepped up got hers and I going watch some Netflix um watch some more office trying to get through that thing I get, I'm gonna count the dates and see how many days I have left or how many episodes I have left because we got to get through there so but yeah went ahead um hung out there a little bit um uh, watched two episodes of that um just Headed down the patio, had myself a beautiful cigar, chilled out here, and they actually had two. There was a little short one and then a regular, like a normal size one that I had. She came out with me for a little bit, sat here, watched a little bit of the pack. We watched the final episode, saw who the winner was. Not going to say if it was a he or she or anything. Not going to give it away of what it was. So, and it is what it is there. But there was both male and females in the final, which is great. So that's the one thing I will tell you. If you're rooting for either a male or female, you they both make it to the final. You just don't know which ones of each. If you're watching that TV show, The Pack, on Amazon Prime, um, great, great show. So, yeah. Other than that, pretty much nothing um, really happened that much. We just kind of hung out. was a delightful day. Like, it really was. Oh, I actually talked to a gentleman um, has a um, tadpole recumbent. 
two front tires, one rear tire. Um, saw him post up on Facebook. Um, talked to the, I think it's a daughter. I can't tell the Facebook ads kind of daughter or son. I'm not sure which, but they said it was their father's. Um, gave me his number. I finally got around to call on him. But it's like an hour away. I was gonna go over and look at it in this nap. Um, did not make it over because he's asking full price. Like he's at well, he's not. He's asking used price, but he thinks it's still brand new because he only wrote it three times. Problem that is, he's had it for over a year. The warranty's non-transferable, and it's it, there's a lot of things go wrong with these bikes. Like especially in the first, it's electric um, assist also, which 99% of the time I've never used. But I think it'd be great when I let, let Karen ride it. She can have electric assist to help keep up with me, which would be awesome. So when I'm done, it's a fully adjustable um, chain length and stuff too. I can put it on her on it really short, stretch it back off myself, I can ride it. And then when I, she just pushes the button, gets a one level, two level, three level um, battery assist on it, on her pedaling so she can keep up with me, get her out there a lot farther and a lot longer, which would be a great cool thing. Um, called to him, talked to him, so I started, I said, I'm not even gonna make an offer. I said, because he's he's asking more than I can buy it new, because the price he was asking come down from what he paid for it, he overpaid when it first popped out. Now the exact same bike is brand new, shipped to my door for the same price he's asking. I said, so there's no money in this for me um, to do this, because I don't, it's a used bike. I know it's only rode three times, been rode eight blocks, three times, whatever, I don't care. There's no warranty or nothing, and a lot of things go wrong with these. It's a, you know, these import bikes and stuff, there's if you you need to you need to beat them up for the first month to see how that warranty is going to hold up and what all you know is going to happen because if you beat it up a little bit and use it all the way to dead drain the charger out of your back back and forth then you'll know what you need to fix they'll fix it and the bike usually lasts you a couple years three years four years before anything really major goes wrong with it and I basically um, told her I said I'm not going to make it offer she talked to her dad or he talked to her dad I'm not sure which one if it's a male or female I talked to but they talked to their dad and said hey just feel free to give me a call and make an offer he's not going to be offended by it where I said okay that gives me some options so I hit him up and said hey here's where I'm at and told him my price and he's like oh no I can't do that I can't do that blah blah so he was like 300 bucks off he wanted 300 dollars more than I offered which I thought was a completely fair offer on my end because it is what it is it's just where it is plus it's a couple hour drive and da da I see you guys I haven't had this longest understanding bully super nice guy we chatted I talked about all kinds of cool things talked to him for like on the 23 minutes I think it was on the phone great guy and really wouldn't even care if I went over and just hung out with the dude like he's just a 70 some year old man who just has a lot you know has a lot of fun a lot of a lot of fun spirit in him so who knows maybe I will just write over there something like hit him up on the message like what's your address I'm gonna come over and you know just sit out in the driveway 10 feet from you and have a cigar and talk to you about life and things going on you know because seemed like a hell of a fun guy so when he's got three bikes for sale he's crashed them all so he has to get rid of them all his wife won't let him have it this bike he never crashed but he can't get in and up out of it since his last back surgery so that's why he's getting rid of it but it is what it is. Um, didn't go get it. Karen asked me to go with the bike because there's a chance we might go over there. Um, wasn't going to drive it because he said that he only had it listed for you know a little bit of time now, a couple days, whatever. And he wants to list on Craigslist some other junk, which I said, man, be careful. There's a lot of scammers, a lot of pe creepy people out there in Craig on Craigslist. So definitely be careful with that whole thing. But I told him, I said, hey, here's my number. Uh, here's my name. Here's my information. Um, change your mind. Hit me up. So we'll wait and see in a few days or so if I end up getting a bike or not. Who knows? There's also a um, badass custom chopper. Um, that I wouldn't mind going looking at and it's like 35 grand I think they spent on this bike had this thing built a few years ago and it's in Florida Gators colors though that's the part that I don't like I'm not a Florida I'm not a football fan I'm not a sports fan really anymore at all but it's got the actual alligator um, shifters it's got the alligator I like foot pegs it's got the alligator kickstand it's got some really cool alligator stuff and I'm a giant fan of alligators so I thought hey I wonder what it would take to just repaint this thing in alligator actual real life alligator airbrush type looking thing and dump the orange blue and just go from there it's got the giant ugly blue seat though it's so ugly and the paint job's done so well it's one of the things that kind of sucks but i could buy that thing for a song right now the guys i think need some money for christmas gifts and whatnot he said if he doesn't get it sold before christmas he's going to raise the price and whatnot which i thought really you're going to raise it's not working but i think it's more of a christmas gift but with the gators doing as good as they are i guess he said they're winning i don't know i guess the gators are winning he was hoping somebody would show interest in it and go from there so we'll see but that by going up and it's out it's above the budget my wife um gave me a budget of uh, money i could spend myself for birthday and christmas kind of thing and it's outside of that but it's not that far outside of that. so i could kick in the rest myself which again still all of our money it doesn't really matter i'm buying myself a gift would be our money her money my money it's all the same thing but i could either talk her in a little bit or i might be able to talk that guy down you know a little more and kind of throw a little bit to it whatever maybe who knows trading something else maybe trading my you know spear gun or some other junk whatever type thing to help soften that um spirit a little bit there so but yeah i just don't know if i really need a chopper either like it's super not they're not comfortable they're sexy to look at and they're fun to ride they get tons of power and they make lots of loud noises and they go poppity bang bang and go vroom bitty vroom and i'm not that dude but i kind of want to be that dude just every like third or fourth weekend 
I wouldn't mind taking it out, making a lap around, you know, Daytona, maybe and back down and just make the pipes go bang and be bang kind of thing. So kind of looks like it might be fun, but I probably won't write it enough to justify owning those stupid things. So it's going to be thousands of dollars sitting in the garage. I'm just sharing and doing nothing with for no real reason. So it is what it is. But anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.